It seemed like you were in beast mode tonight. It seemed like every hole you were able to hit it, and especially short yardage, you were able to lower your shoulder and get three touchdowns today. Uh, yes, I mean, I had to just, you know, turn to another man today. I had to be a man and get the job done today because they was really relying on me, and they really relying on me this season to be a man and get it done. So that's what I just did. Just put my head down, trust the play, and just, just hit, the tr hit the hole. How much today was it staying committed to the run? Against Finlay, you guys fell behind in that third quarter there and kind of had to abandon the run. How much do you feel it was, you know, staying with the run, maintaining the run, and how much did that kind of help wear down that lacrosse defense? Uh, it helped wear down a lot because, you know, as the game went on, they were like, you know what I mean, they're fast, and, you know what I mean, they're like, what, two, their whole line is like, what, no higher than 230. So, you know what I mean, they're yeah. fast and they can get to it. You know, but as we just keep pushing away and keep pushing away and keep wearing them down and keep wearing them down and keep hitting holes in, you know what I mean? Something's bound to open up. Offensively, what do you guys need to do to maybe move the ball a little more, a little better, get some more longer sustained drives, especially earlier in the game? There seemed to be a spell there, especially in the third quarter where things just kind of grinded to a halt for you guys offensively. Uh, basically, just we just need to stay together and trust the plays. Trust the plays that the coach pl uh, put out there for us and execute them more better, I want to say. Rep them out more and just, you know what I mean, understand that we have to do our job in order to execute these plays. A little deja vu here again with uh, Collier going down. It looked kind of bad that you could have to be relied on yes. to be the man. May not be a lot of guys, you know, as explosive in the back as, as Keenan was behind you. Mm -hmm. You know, your thoughts on just possibly going back into that role and, and getting a lot of carries here again. Uh, that just means more ice baths, you know, more hard days in the gym, and, you know, just more praying. You know, God got me through this, and, you know, I pray every day. I go to church every Sunday. So, you know, that's what it's going to take. As a senior leader, what is it like when Ryan gets a little flustered out there? You know, he got hit big, and, you know, he makes a few bad throws. What do you say to him to, you know, because you're right next to him in that in that line? What do you say to him? Uh, I don't really say anything to him. I just look him at, look at him in his eyes and see if he look back at me, and I go, okay, he's okay. Come on, next play. Let's get to it. Time to score. How do you see him progressing out of last week? You guys had that uh, mishap or fumble happen. Uh, you guys collided into each other. He's, he's progressing very well. You know what I mean? He's understanding it. You know, like I said, it's his first year. You know, it might take one game. It might take two games. But his performance tonight was, like, you know, was, was good to me. You know, he stayed in the pocket a lot and trusted the protection that we guys built for him. So, I mean, he did okay tonight. Talk about your O-line. They were able to give you such good holes, and, you know, you were able to read them perfectly. Talk about their performance tonight. Oh, I mean, them, them guys, man. I mean, they're, they're the greatest line I ever went up with, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, I mean, if I could, like, just grant them all Americans myself, then it would be, you know. But, I mean, we got to keep working, you know what I mean? I got to keep, you know what I mean, hitting the holes more and, you know what I mean, telling them, look, guys, you know what I mean, it's going to be tough. You know what I mean? You just got to move them out of the way, and we're going to get to the chip. You feel the offensive line's kind of enjoying this, this oh. run-first attitude they're that's yeah. going on a little yeah, bit, they, too? Yeah, they enjoying it a lot. I mean, every time I, like, you know what I mean, I have my one-on-one -on -one time with each of them, they're like, oh, we need you to run. You need to run, you know what I mean? Because that's just that's what they want to do. They want to line up the ball and go pow and just run all season, you know what I mean? But we're not that type of team, you know? So they just ready for, you know what I mean, the physicalness. They want to get to the physicalness because they know that, they don't really get the much shine they do, but they know that physicalness down there, they beating them down, they know they get it. Do you expect teams to maybe start keying on the run a little more as you guys get, get rolling? Maybe teams thinking they can key on the run because you guys have a freshman quarterback back there? Uh, yes, they. I, I mean, I'm expecting them to key on the run, you know, because, uh, I mean, that's what our, you know I mean, basically what we're trying to establish right now. So, um, I mean, as they watch film, and you know, I mean, keep watching film, they're gonna be like, oh, well, these guys are good on the run, so we got the key that first. But that just opens up, you know what I mean, gives bet Morley a better look, you know what I mean, for play action set up for Julian, for Christian Jesse, uh, Christian Marble King, like those guys are really, really good when it comes down to catching the ball. Coach, um, you guys have a 92 yard drive in the third quarter to break the game open, kind of, you can talk about the momentum, momentum change right there. Uh, after he caught that ball, I mean, the momentum just shifted, you know what I mean, everybody see, like, we can do this. We can drive from 92 yards and score each and every time. We just got to know it, execute, and get on with it.